we stand here in this dusk of the day, we are frustrated, we are hurt, we are in pain, and we suffer. But we must always remember that we have to funnel that frustration into struggle. As we stand here, we must rededicate ourselves to struggle. Yes, yes. If you cry a tear tonight and tomorrow, but you don't fight the day after, shame on you. Shame on you! And I'm angry and frustrated myself. But I know that I have a responsibility yes, sir. to Troy Davis yes, sir. and the Troy Davis is to come. Yes, because mind you, there will be more Troy Davis. Ready to fight, then shame on them. Shame. Yes, yes. And the enemy, the opposition, is strong. I heard a group called the Christian Coalition today call for Troy's blood. Yeah. Oh, you've always known they ain't a coalition, and they sure enough ain't Christian. So let's not fool ourselves. We have a mighty opposition. I don't begrudge the McPhail family in their pain. Yes, sir. But with the Board of Pardon and Parole, come on. Say shame on them. Shame on them. Shame on them. Shame on them. Behind closed doors in secret, they have come to this decision. So, we issued a statement today. I did in Sarah Tanachi of the Southern Center for Civil Rights, Human Rights. Mm -hmm. And I want to read that statement to you if I can. The execution of Troy Davis is immoral and wrong. Yes. Yes. Almost all of the witnesses against him have recanted. Right. The courts and the parole board have failed to use their power to prevent this imminent miscarriage of justice. However, Troy Davis's execution cannot take place unless human beings at the Georgia Diagnostic and Classification Prison make it happen. They can refuse to kill Troy Davis. We call on Dr. Carlo Musso, CEO of Rainbow Medical Associates. We call on him to follow the oath, the Hippocratic oath he took, to do no harm. We call on him and his company, contracted by the Georgia Department of Corrections to oversee executions, to decline to participate and not allow any physician or other medical personnel associated with his companies to participate in the immoral execution of possibly a possibly innocent man, Troy Day. of Dr. Musso's businesses, Rainbow Medical Associations, and if you can believe this, Correct Health Incorporated, who have any involvement with implementing the Department of Corrections execution protocol to refuse to participate in the execution of Troy David. Yeah. Remember